Hold up. Okay. Hello? 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 Can you guys hear me? Hello? 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 Can I get some Harley Quinn hammers in chat if you can hear me? Harley Quinn hammers? It... <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I don't know what was going on. I was so confused. I was so confused. I was like... I was like asking, hold on guys, Guys, I was taken away. I, I thank you, Kyle, for the two bits. Kyle, shut, shut up. All right, everyone. I apologize for that. You guys could see it though. Everything looked okay. Like, could you hear the game? I'm sorry about that, everyone. I'm I, I truly do apologize. It was my bad. Big old Rick balls. Guys, stop. <laughs> okay. I'm going to boot up the game again. All right. Th thank you, Tyler. Tyler's being... T Tyler, you're being a great mod. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate you. All right. I... No, 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 Tyler, you're agreeing with me because because Tyler is a mod. No, 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 I think think Tyler. Tyler, be clear, be clear on who you're. We let's see the let's see the top tiers. Ooh, Ka Pat how's Patrick? Both of them. <laughs> All right, there we go. Give it, give it a second. I was asking people when I first got in here, how's everyone's days going? But I feel like, how's I, I didn't get to, uh, you guys didn't get here. How's everyone? How's everyone's days been? How's everyone's days been? Before before we get into the game. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Honestly, tell it. Thank you. A city on the verge of greatness. A real, city Tyler. On the man, real. Symbol of freedom and vitality. You see, after releasing Freddy Fazbear Co., every man can own his own home. I've been out of a job. Debris, not be overlooked by his neighbors. So, guess where I've guess where I've the turned to. Man's home is his castle, a quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. 
to the detective agencies. The city of opportunists. A city <laughs> with no Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> the city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. Without any William Aftons. A city of pioneers. A city with no Foxy. City of not pizza places. I'm running out of things to say here. A city of undercurrents. Where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model. How long is this is this dialogue? <laughs> A city that, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. A city that we don't have to worry about getting jump scared. Thank you, Tyler. Okay, is this in the Marine Corps you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path. Or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGPL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. You see. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Oh, man. We've pulled up on the crime case. Now, do we want to play the whole game in black and white or do we want to play the game in color? <laughs> What do you guys think? Game in color or game in black and white? Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. Color? I thought so. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon, bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. I'm out of Black and white would... Black and white, I feel like, would get too annoying after a certain amount of time. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me. And we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Hmm. This place. Physical fade to indicate all clues. Is this a clue? Junk. A bottle. I've never seen a newspaper like this before. Last time I saw one of those was for. Can this guy shut? I hate this guy. Uh, oh, um, a blood splatter on the wall. What could that be? Nobody knows. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. I'm right here, you idiot. It's blood. A blood stain. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. That's exactly what happened. Go. Just it doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. 
I hate you. I hate you very much. Hmm. My book. Close the notebook. Inspect an object. Hmm. It's a gun. On the glass. Something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Cause I, reflection in the window. I hate him. I hate this guy so much. He's. All right. Don't hurt yourself. Hmm. It appears as someone was caught. Was caught off guard when asked to do the mannequin challenge. When they were told to do the mannequin challenge, they must have thrown the gun up in the air to make it easier for them to not move. Hmm. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Who called for the... Who who called the mannequin challenge? Who was the poor mannequin in this said challenge? <laughs> Someone knew Andy was coming. <laughs> yep. This gun was definitely part... Serial S7183. Someone knew when he was coming. Hmm. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Hmm. Little does he know. He had four bullets left in the chamber. He must have been... He must have moved during the mannequin challenge. I think I'm starting to get to the bottom of this. He was caught moving in the mannequin challenge. So, he was caught moving during the mannequin challenge. So the person who called it ended up we have the gun, Cole. ended up shooting them. Can you shut up? Ralph, and see if we can come up with an can you that shut up, Ralph? Shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Hmm. So back to what I was saying before Ralph rudely interrupted. You see, we caught... The man was caught lacking in the mannequin challenge, if you will. So, when he was caught lacking, he was moving. Are you sure so... This? It's not really our oh my god, can you shut... No shut good. up. The suits didn't seem to give oh my god. Such a little boy scout. I have... I have I a... Uh, shut up, dude. You'd rather round up drunks than help old ladies across <laughs> the road? <laughs> cut I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Back to what I was saying. So when he was caught lacking, the guy who called it, he was like, You broke the mannequin challenge! So I believe that the mannequin, per se, shot and killed our, our challenge, our challenge initiator. And I think, I think I can figure out who did it. You see... Ralph has never played a game of the mannequin challenge in his life. You know why I know this? Because he doesn't know the ones he doesn't know the mannequin challenge song. Yes. As of right now, we have a hypothetical mannequin homicide. We need to head down to the gun store. You see this, you see this, this here gun store, you see they, they pioneered the, they pioneered the, the mannequin challenge in the city. Nobody was doing the mannequin, Oh man. I am. So this gun store has dealt with many a people who wanted to become mannequins. So. I think these people have to know what happened to our mannequin victim. No, our mannequin challenger victim. My bad. This thing turns incredibly well. <laughs> I'm not going to play this in VR. <laughs> Streets get cold. Cold during the night. Everyone out here. Is that a follow? He's kind of. 
Thank you, Dr. Doom0807, for the follow. Hi, Gary. I think so. I think so, too. Hmm. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Need it. Model 27 registered magnum. I read that on the, on the gun. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner. No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. Or a mannequin. Are only available special orders. Here's my Smith and Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? You're my guest. Hmm. It's about something bad, right? Hmm. So let's see if we can find. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Model 27. With peel grips. You see. Mr. Gun Clerk, I have, I have reason to believe that this gun was involved in a, in, luck, Errol Schroeder. in a Schroeder mannequin Street, challenge homicide. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. <sighs> we got our guy. We have... Let's see Our mannequin. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. To the Schroden. To the. Thank you for the follow. Uh, 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 uh. Well, this, it'll be here in a second. Hmm. We gotta get. We gotta find our mannequin. Because with them on the loose, what happens if someone else calls a mannequin challenge on them? Thank you, Reagan, for the follow. If if we don't get to this guy quick. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. <sighs> yes, so. Seems a little too good to be true. Who cares about? Who cares? Who cares? My, it'll take it out of my paycheck. Of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are. Gotta move. We gotta move. This pole's invincible. We gotta go around it. We gotta go now. We're on. We're hot on this person's tail. Hawk. This person, if if some poor victim catches this this here Schroeder at the wrong time when calling a mannequin challenge, he's screwed. Schroeder, that's probably a better way to say it. God, God. Can I, Ralph? Can you? If that seal won't buy me something nice, I'll find someone who will. Gold-handed doors allow me to enter, eh? Well, I'm entering. Hmm. Which one is it? Hmm. Probably the one with the gold doorknob. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of mm. your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh crap. He I caught him. He is the Schroeder. Why'd you do it? Why'd you break the rules of the mannequin challenge, huh? Why'd you do it? 
He's good, but he's not that good. Grapple. G grapple. Gra grapple. That does nothing. Schroeder. You know the rules of this town. Everyone does. But if you... You have to follow the rules of the mannequin challenge. Mm. Let's see if he has any. Let's see if we got any evidence here. He knocked off my hat. It's my car. Out. Our car is not out there. It appears we've been robbed. Let's find. Ah, a gold, a gold doorknob. It means we're good to end. Oh. Never mind, we're, that means we're leaving. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a seat. This is all bullshit, you hear me? <laughs> I told you everything I know. Schroeder, I know you did it. What's he got in this house of his? Mystic Tales? What's he got here? What am I looking for? Schroeder, what do you got here? Mystic Tales? Mmm, a bottle. Mmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Me neither. The Mystic Tales. A fan of eyeballs. Thank you. Thank you, Reagan, for the for the gifted sub. Very much appreciated. Everyone, let's get some Harley Quinn hammers in chat. Harley Quinn hammers in chat, everyone. Whoop whoop. Thank you, Reagan. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. How's the was in chat, everyone? Go, go berserk, go berserk. Wait, wait. Dun, dun, dun. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Why can I? I can't. There it is. Woo! Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Regan. Very much appreciated. Hmm. That's a cup. Don't think this is anything. That must mean he drinks. Drinks what? I have no clue. A cigarette. Doesn't look like anything. He smokes cigarettes. Hmm. What else? Hmm. A notebook. Something of use. Let's take a look. What do these names mean? of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Hmm. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, at 1247. 
Hmm. I hate I hate this dude. That guy is Oh, that guy is so an he's, he's so that guy's so annoying. He's such a he's such a little jerk. Sergeant, but excuse me, fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the camp guy. bus over there. This bus is for MCR. He is. I, what did I even do to this guy? Fight. I don't even know what's going on. What did I even do? I was literally just walking. I was walking around. I wasn't even doing anything. Man. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no sitting on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. This guy is speaking nonsense to me. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 to Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. We got. We got a. You, if, if this is supposed to be a problem, they clearly. They clearly don't know my my repertoire because I've dealt with more dangerous things than than a mere armed robbery. You see, I can hit this jump no problem. And they didn't think I could. See, no one's quite. Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. They don't know what I've been through. I can handle a mere armed robbery. Oh, crap. Mannequin challenge. Now. You, he failed. He moved. He failed the mannequin challenge. You know what that means, everyone. That means he's done for. Mannequin challenge! Mannequin challenge! He shot my hat off. I gotta get my hat back on. Pronto. I gotta handle this quickly. Speed run. You see, I... Uh, they don't think I've ever dealt with anyone like this. You see, I'm no new... Oh, crap. Someone above. Speed run. They only needed one, and it was 
Me. Says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in that. Glad you had my back. He didn't even. Man, he he didn't even do anything. He literally. I did all the work. I speed ran. What is? Don't give him false credit. I'm going manic again. This kind of opportunity <laughs> Nick Cage. comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. Have to Willy's Wonderland. Mm. Love to shoot off. That's a good. That's a good comparison I there. For myself in this war. My future. Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the sergeant your type. <sighs> when I need your I'm opinion, going. Kelso, I'll ask for it. They Man, I am like you and camp on call. edge. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Um, I'm, I am a crazy man. Guys, I'm, guys, I think I'm going crazy. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personality... Someone needs a slurp juice. Stumps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. I'm just well, saying. It's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bauer. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! You can go screw What did he even do? He's he's off he's out of jail, is he not? Why am I doing this? He's hiding in the alley! I know You see I I know this guy too. He faked his Fortnite stats on, on FortniteTracker.com. He said he had 50 wins, but in all reality, he only had 12. That's a, that is no victimless crime, I can tell you that. I see a man who fakes his Fortnite games can never really win a fight. I know I don't trust any man like you, you freak. Stay down. You doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Am I gonna have another episode? <laughs> Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps I'm and crazy. being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision gonna... will... Get the men you care about killed. <sighs> Didn't work. I was gonna turn him down and I was gonna start dubbing over him. Is there a way? Maybe if I do this? I don't think that changes. These ratings. What? He's immune. He's immune to, to sound. Can't turn him down. I wanted to like turn him all the way down and I was gonna give my own speech. 
and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit is too powerful. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Dang, my guy is a little... He's a little teacher's pet. He, that's what he is. Bravery gone. There's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solved that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrol. This could be the one goal. Man's been shot dead. I know exactly what happened here. I can, I can see exactly what happened here. We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Once this cutscene ends, I can tell you exactly what happened. I can tell you exactly what happened here because I know. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. So. So I've, I've determined what happened here. You see, this was once a member of the Dharmi. Well, back when he was alive, of course. But... Now he's clearly gone. So I think... This is an act. This is... This was... I think... I know who might have done this. Maybe a certain... Certain Dom... Certain Dom, after, after he, after all of the Darmy members left Dom, I think Dom went manic, and went to track down all the all the former former Darmy members. Hmm. See, exactly what I thought. He's been he's been hiring hitmen. C. Galetta. May we receive pearl earrings. Dom, Dom has ideas. seriously cotton cotton balsamic. And now he's gone. Right, now he's right, gone insane. Yes, we need to need to find out how far this goes to the shoe store we're at the shoe store we made it now let's figure out what's inside that is Don't you people have anything guys we should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness I'm officer Phelps miss I'm here about the shooting Know the victim <laughs> he was hmm. my boss mr. gage hmm. mr. gage's first name everett and you are Galleta. poor poor yes. darmy members you know Dar darmy didn't have my respect but they did not deserve this let's No, pet. No anarchy, guys. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, Miss? I look around the shop at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, burst in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. 
I walked in front. Hmm. I heard shots. I turned and hmm. saw Mr. Gage fall. I don't know. She seems like she's lying. This could be Dawn with Balsamic. Are you? I think this is Dom, but with bals Balsamic. I'm having a hard time believing that, young lady. You want to be taken to a police cell? You're hardly any older than me. Don't you dare talk to me that way. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I will take you downtown. Get out! Get out right now! Mm. Send in Dom one of the other sold it. You must, but I won't say another word to you. Dang it. I know that's Dom. I know it's him. He's got balsamic and he is trying to hide it. Hmm. Shoes. These appear to be. Take a smarter man than me to connect that. These appear to be Dom's shoes. That's the way I've seen him wear shoes like that before. A bag. One of Dom's old bags before he went missing. A phone. I've made a few phone calls once before, but not enough to buy a phone. A book. Dom's read a book before. Hmm. A newspaper. You read the news much? Dom. Hmm. Still playing. A cash register. Now you wouldn't mind if I opened up this cash register and took out twenty dollars, would you? See, I don't make very much money around here. So, any amount I can really get kind of kind of sets me up here. It's just a, just something. Is there something I'm missing here on the on this former Darmy member? Looks to me nothing. Ralph, come back. Do something. Mm. A handgun. Let's see what type of gun. FN Browning. Uh, FN Browning. I knew that. Hmm, a gun store. We need to do that. No murderer. Girl saw it all, but she clammed up on me. We can trace the gun. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. We gotta go ask about a gun at the gun store again. How do I? There we go. Set his destination. Now let's let's kick it into high gear and get to this here gun store so we can find out once and for all what did I tell you who did this. Too hard on the witness. She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm just saying that sometimes. 
You need to pour some sugar on these broads. A little bedside manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with bedside. You gonna leave the street light intact on this block? This guy needs to shut up. You see, I'm not an officer of the law. I'm an officer. I'm an op officer of, of what's. of getting to the bottom of the crime. I don't let the law abide me. I let the case drive me. Officer, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty mm. rare you find one over hmm. here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Callu. Edgar Callu was his name. Thing looks like it had never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Callu? Told me he was on his Kalu. lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Hmm. Likely story. Looks like Dom has given himself an alibi. Not gonna get me though. Wrong turn. This way and quick. Hmm. The jewelry store. Let's do this. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Uh, you think Cole I'm Phelps. here for a while? Are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, he Cole, go! Died. I knew it. Tom is behind this somehow. What, what was I not su suspect injured? What was I su supposed to just aim it at him? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. I. Tom's cop balsamic. He's he's hiding as different people. Caught you red-handed, Dom. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> Edgar, more like Dom. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. <sighs> the one you never saw, the one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, the might have beens, the half leads. So the real. Case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you Edgar does have a D. Which stands. That's so real. I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. 
takes a certain animal coming, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. Look, I am. Patrick. Good man. I don't know how long uh, I've been streaming. I, I don't plan on stopping right now, Motive, so. Opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. Yeah, it's only been like an hour. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young fellow. Man, these people are speaking this is your chance. gibberish. Don't fail me. Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's, Let's talk, talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. Hmm. Come on, Mr. Kalu. Make this easier on yourself. Get it off your conscience. You think I'm stupid? You think I'll just do whatever you want because you're a nice guy? I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. Man. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Why do they keep doing this every time? I don't. They don't tell me how to do it. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. I need a confession. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's talk about the shooting. Mm. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. So, so if I say truth, I, I assume he's telling the truth. If I say doubt, I, I put, I am like, are you sure? And three is like straight up, just call it a lie. I'm put some doubt. You blew a man out of socks over an empty grudge, you son of a bitch. Do you think I have sympathy for you? That's the way. Keep needling me. Try the rough stuff and my lawyer will be making an official complaint. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Hmm. You disappoint me, cold folks. Don't yell at me again, please. Get back in there and some lumps, boy. I said I, need a I said don't yell at me, dude. God, he's such a he's such a jerk. This guy this guy's on his third time around. Dominic, he is a tough nut to crack. With all the, all that balsamic running in his veins right now. But I think I finally can crack it down. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. They don't like ever tell me exactly what any of these things I really do. Browning pistol, serial number zero one one three eight. I own the gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. Mm. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. You see, I know that's a lie, because of the murder weapon. You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you work. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it's possible. Safe. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? 
You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stuck Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Faust. It is just, Officer Faust. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Faust. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, boy. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Honestly, I I hate my my boss sucks. <laughs> he was yelling at me just a couple seconds ago. He was saying like, "You're bad. You are bad." The driver's seat. That's where you sit when you're driving a car. What could this mean? Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. But this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. Heard all about you, Phelps. This so guy better be better than the other guy. And maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? It's been intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of this seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Man, Cole Stick Phelps is, he's, he is, I, I hate this guy. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division, welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps, he's the cop. Guys, the hold up, guys, uh, guys, hold up, I'm with you. Take a bow, Phelps. Get real, guys, this is literally the scene from, from Zootopia. If it's alright with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. This That's is literally... Partner, right? okay, this okay, is literally... Guys. This is literally the scene from Zootopia. Traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. If you screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license. This is literally Zootopia. E freight depot, sixth and Alameda. Patrolman called. Oh my god, guys, I'm Judy Hops. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm Judy Hops. I'm literally Judy Hops. I'm literally, literally, I'm Judy Hops. I'm being so real. 
They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got to this desk. You were here in five minutes. So what do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. There's, I know. L.A. Noir really did copy Zootopia, and then like like Zootopia, one of the best grossing movies ever. You can't tell me that that they didn't see this movie when they made this game. Everyone saw Zootopia. Everyone knows who Judy Hopps is. How do I get out of here? They did not tell me where to go, I don't think, did they? Will you look at this clown? Get real. Hmm. I don't remember this part of the game, this part of the movie. I've been on this job 20 years. Sounds like an argument. Goddamn Bruin, you're having a season from hell. Oh, sister, I was so tight I couldn't walk. What on earth? Can I take this car? You see, I've taken on a new job. The Ford Ambulance. We made a miscalculation. We gotta get going. Let's hope he'll catch up to me on foot. For Christ's sake. Cody, what you don't understand is I... I play both sides of the coin. I'm good cop and bad cop. All rolled up in one. Nobody quite understands what it's like on these streets. You can't go around being a good cop. Sometimes you gotta be a bad cop. Kyle redeemed 1,000 Jarmy ge Jarmy's gems for a song request. What, do you, what song would you like to request, Kyle? I'm sorry, sir. Police officer. I find I one goddamn ding. Kyle, I'm gonna be so real, I don't know if I can play it right now because the way this game works, it like, it messes with everything. Like it messes, you know what I mean? If I can get it to work, I, I promise you I will. Oh, okay. We're gonna turn it on. I, I, I understand, Cody. I, I completely understand. Trap, queen, instrumental. Do you, so, Kyle, do you want me to play it while, as we continue to play the game? Or do you want, or do you, or do you want, um, to just, you know, take a moment, enjoy Fetty Wap's Trap Queen? Yeah, right, well, I uh, I hope you enjoy. I have to turn it up a bit more. This goes so hard.
This song got me driving recklessly. Seventeen thirty eight. I'm gonna steal another car. This car right here, this car right here. LAPD, police emergency. Guys, tell me this does not go hard over this game. Oh crap, somebody heard the Fetty Wap, we gotta, somebody, somebody's on the run, we gotta hurry this up, 1738. Up on the roof, officer, he has a mask on his face. I caught Thank you for the bit, Kyle. But be careful, I saw him waving a gun. I don't play. You see, I come strapped. Stay down, sir. Oh man, I didn't even there's no way I killed him. I that felt like an edit. That felt like an edit. <laughs> to like a that went so incredibly hard. What? That's what? What is this? That went so incredibly hard. Now, now back to the game. <laughs> no crap, my partner's here. I pointed it at them and did, it wasn't doing like the thing that, that the one guy did. I tried to I tried to shoot him. I tried to shoot him somewhere else. Shoot him like you know somewhere where it wouldn't be vital. But apparently I'm just too I'm too vital on the streets. Mm, the freight depot. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Mm. Parking lot straight ahead. Let's see what's going on here. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and 
We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. He thinks I don't know how to do a case. He doesn't even know about the bite of 87. <laughs> Didn't think so. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Hmm. Let's see. How long are you going to keep me here, sir? I better get back to work, sir. Let's sir, have a I'm nice detective. conversation. Name's Nate Wilkie. Hi, Nate. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Hmm. Seems the truth. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. I believe him. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Hmm. I feel like he's telling the truth. truth. Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of spilled it out. I think he was telling the truth. I think he was a, he was, he was a truthful like man. A little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. Hmm. How's the world looking? Let's check the trunk. Oh, you know. One thing that I know about this city that nobody else knows about is a, a up and coming business known by the name of Cake Industries. You see, I know something that most people don't. I have reason to believe they're running an organ trading business. It doesn't appear to be connected. So I think we got something to do it do with it. I think there's something to do here with that with that business, if you know what I'm talking about. Looks to have lost a lot of blood. Or maybe they're trading the organs of pigs. Glasses. Or Who might this be? Happier times, I guess. That, uh, that looks scary. Adrian. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? For real. He has glasses. It means he's blind. It means we can get the jump on him. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. He's a nerd too. And everything jumps to him being a perfect person to, to get the jump on. Let's go investigate this here. I forgot his name. Get back here, Phelps. We're not done yet. What do you mean Keep we're searching. not done yet? Anything in these here trash? I have to agree, I think he's an actual... I think he's a nerd. 
which would make him the perfect suspect. Evidence C. Evidence A, where is evidence B? Insta heat pipe. Ah, an insta heat pipe. Nothing to see here, folks. Just an insta heat pipe. Hmm. He's a definitely a nerd. Only nerds buy insta heat. Now let's go interview this loser. Drive away, drive away, gotta, we gotta get out of here. We... Six twenty Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill, a couple blocks north of Central Station. Bunker Hill. So, what do we tell the wife? Play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Well, obviously someone got a little heavy-handed. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. You got something there, fellas. Doesn't add up. I'm one of the best police officers on the street. I I can drive with my eyes closed. Did you read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his well, I'm driving with my eyes Stops closed. Oh, I knew I should have driven. Okay, never drive with your eyes closed, guys. He's on a rail That's an official. Oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil. It's official. An official Jeff. Uh, miles an hour. Car came to a rest an official Jeff uh, declaration. Do not drive with your eyes closed. It's dangerous. Yeah, but once again, do not drive with your eyes closed. It's very dangerous. But. Let's see if we can get any better this time around. Alright. And who needs a second amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? Eyes are closed. If it's a kidnapping, why We're still good. Intersection without killing anybody. You do that for me? Oh man, we are not good. Oh man. Oh crap. If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, Phelps. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels kinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition. Don't worry. Kid. Officially, guys, I do not endorse driving with your eyes closed, but it is a fun little challenge to do. Bird box challenge. Thanks for the tip. Bird box challenge while driving. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't see. Oh my gosh, guys. No, guys, I can't see. I really hope I don't run into anything. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. We're fine. Oh. Our car is on fire, our car is on fire. Car is on fire, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We'll just run. Phew. 
We'll be there. Oh man. I see you motherfuckers. Come on up here and get us. What is all this? Traffic stop from hell. Crowley pulls these guys over. Finds a trunk full of hardware like you wouldn't believe. They lose bullets start flying. And they snatch up the guns from one of the cops. Oh man, they we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to let the cop go. Who knows for how long? We're gonna have to let him go. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Okay. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but we have to let him go, guys. Get real. Throw out the guns. <laughs> Throw out the guns. I am not afraid of you. Give me your gun. Man, I am agile. Trying to be polite, sir. We're gonna. I'm gonna have to go speedrun mode on him. I have to. He shot my hat off. Yep, he's done. Speedrun. Where's the officer go? I think I think we did have to lose him. Truly, it's unfortunate. But it's the way. I'm involved in a shooting. It's code four here, but suspects are down, and I need an ambulance at Chateau and Valencia. Also, notify detective headquarters. I'll need the coroner. My partner and I are okay. My partner didn't do anything. All right, we gotta get out of here before the before the before the the, the actual. No, actually, we are the police, so we're fine. Oh crap! Okay, we're good. Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece. I can. I am going to get a different car, and I'm going to drive without you, man. I do not want to hear it. Drift. We're fine, we're fine. Hey, do not yell. Do not yell. Uh oh. We're fine. And and accelerate and go right. And we crashed again, but we're fine. And we crashed again. Alright. Dang, this thing got... Okay, we're fine. Nope. I got a job to do. I don't got time for this. Good night, Patrick. Is this even our car? I wonder. I wish you could bail out. That's okay, Patty. Uh, off road. It's okay, Patrick. If you ever want to go back and relive any moment, 
Shut up! Shut that flip up! If you want, I will upload the VOD, of course, so. No need to worry. Hmm. Let's check this place out. Lots of sunflowers. Let's go that must mean they like sunflowers. I'm not good at the shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. What is that noise? LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Hmm. Your husband was an actual learn nerd. He was an actual nerd. That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Insta Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Mm, Whereabouts, Mr. Black? A little suspicious. I think she knows yeah, her husband was a nerd. Window. At the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. Hmm. We're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. That's a, something about her responses makes me think she Check knows he out. was also a nerd. Fine. But we're going to have to do some investigating to, to figure that out. Hmm. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Yep, he uh, it gives me something to go on. He was definitely a nerd. So a loser, if you will. Have a good look around. Got to be something in here to go on. A freakish maniac. Hmm. A picture of his wife. That's a suspicious item. Any skeletons in the closet? Skeletons by the bed side. Tisk tisk tisk. Hmm. A picture of her husband. Look at him. Separate what bed, a loser. Separate pictures. What gives here? My Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Huh. What could this mean? This must be Adrian's. Probably something to hold glasses in. Stenzel. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. <sighs> hmm. Anything else? A C. Kavanaugh. So who brought this home? Looks like there's been some that have you. Maybe Adrian was a patron. Aren't I should have an address? Ooh, good point. Let's, let's go check the back of the other photo. If we can. It's not letting me. Yeah, it's not letting me. So she doesn't have a secret thing. 
Hmm, a telephone. I like making calls, but not enough to buy a whole phone for them. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Belt, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks for your help. Hmm. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. The receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Hmm. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Hmm. Photograph sign Nicole. Photo of Adrian in the bedroom? What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Hmm, my dad that. You and your husband are in separate bedrooms. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? No, I did not. My husband and I may have drifted apart, but it, it wasn't my choice. Hmm. Location. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. But they didn't go for a drink. They went to go buy a pig. So I think you're lying. But you knew where he was really going because you told him to meet you at the rail yard. That's where you jumped him. How did you hide the body? You have an overly active imagination, young man. Do you have any proof of that allegation? You see, you can see, you see, you see, there are blood splashes that you see, there's a concealed message. My husband is missing. You say he may be hurt and the best you can do is berate me. You're a poor example of a man. Get real. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. From where, might you add? I believe you. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Hmm. I'm sorry. I should not be eating. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. I believe that. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Hmm. Looks like we got all we need out of you. We're sending you to the big leagues. Let's check the window. Garden junk. Hmm. Insta heat. The thing half finished. What? No, I don't want to do that. Why am I doing this for them? This Why on earth would I do this? Can't be right. Hmm. And the final piece. Mr. Black's here is the same one that killed him. Huh. It's 
Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone, I don't want to break your heart here, but I'm going to have to leave you all on a cliffhanger. I'm really... We, next time you tune into the Jeff Rowan stream, we will find out where's Adrian. What did that message in the back mean? Why was he such a nerd? More to be found out later on the Jeff Rowe. NTN stream. Okay, everyone. So, we are going to end stream here. I am. I enjoyed streaming today. Always great to be back. Expect another stream this next week. Usually the Thursday. Usually Thursday. Should be. But, um,. I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. Uh, let me know what you thought. But I hope everyone has a great day, morning, night, whatever it is for you right now. Bye-bye.